So this is Mink and Molly, our two black kitties. And when you travel with kitties, you've got this issue. What do you do with the dreaded kitty pan? Well, let me show you what we did. So when we first started traveling with kitties mm, three years ago, one of the biggest problems you have is where you're going to put that cat pan. And guess what? Um, fifth wheels, class A's, I don't care what you've got. Uh, there is not a place to put them. As a matter of fact, you hear our kitties back there agreeing with it uh, now. So uh, the first thing that we did, I'll show you a couple things of what we did initially. And then before we took our winter trip this year, I came up with definitely a better idea. And we've been using it for three months and it's been a super idea. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what we did have and then what we're doing now. So I'll walk up here to the bathroom. When we first started traveling, we had a couple options. We thought about the bedroom, but you know, there is a bit of an odor. Uh, with a cat pan. So the first thing that we did was we put it in here um, and we had plenty of space and it really worked out great as far as size and a location. But the downside is, is when the kitties get out, then you've got cat litter all over your floor and then after a day they just track it everywhere and it would be all up here, it would be down in the steps, it would just get, you know, everywhere. So what I did and this is where we'll show you this modification. As a matter of fact, the kitties are going to help me with the tour. If you notice right here by the steps, there is a space that's located here. And I built a custom box that goes in this space and goes to the outside. And I'll take you outside and actually show you how it works. But if you look to see how they gain access to it, they just walk right through there. And um, y'all like it pretty good, don't you, huh? Any comments? No, they want something to eat. But uh, yeah, there was a comment. But um, I'll take you outside and actually show you how this works. It, it really turned out to be a fantastic solution. And as you notice, it's much cleaner too. And guess what? No odor either. So here's the second part to this. <clears throat> you go over here to the garage or whatever you want to call this. <clears throat> and if you notice inside, I'll turn the light on there's the hatch so that that wall right there comes completely down it's it was only like you know a, a two or three screws that held it in i think like two here and two on the end and you just slipped it right out and behind that is a, a, a pretty good sized room it's underutilized uh, plumbing wiring things like that and i had this big space that was behind the steps that's what you're seeing here so just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at here. I made a basic little track out of, um, I just ripped a piece of wood and put cut a little channel in it. Then I took, this is just generic pegboard and I sprayed it flat back. And I left a little bit of a length, if you notice right up here, so it would slide in and out of the track. And I just put a little basic hook here just to keep it from opening up when we travel. And here's where this gets really cool. So there's the opening that comes from the other side. I put them a little light in here. That's an LED light, a little air freshener. <clears throat> and there's the pan. So, you know, to clean it, all we've got to do is just, you know, it just slides right out and you can take it out and do all your cleaning. Here's one thing that I think is key. You know, sometimes kitties miss their pans. So if you notice, this is a black coating. You've seen it on TV, that's that flex shot. Um, two cans of flex shot. It's like a hard rubber and I squirted that in there and we've been traveling with this for three months. Yep, they've missed a pan a couple times. You know, you just take you a, um, you know, a paper towel and a, and a Clorox wipe and uh, clean it up and dump your pan and you keep on going. No different than what you would do at home or anywhere else. So it's worked out really well to show you how easy it is to close and uh, latch it. And then, you know, paper towels and a little bit of odor freshener and Clorox wipe out of the way. Takes up no space. I got to tell you, this has been an awesome, awesome little mod that we did. Sure, we could have cut the hole in there and let them roam around back there at the back. That would have been a nightmare. They would have got into the wires and everything else. This is their own little custom home. Um, if we travel, we just block that front. Uh, we pull over like if we're driving five or six hours, which is rare, but if we do, we just open this up, put them in there, come back, take them back out, put them back into the, into the truck. And I'll show you what we do in the truck too, so that we can travel with them as well. 
So I'll show you one other item that we use as well. This is, you know, kitties are kitties, and they're going to sometimes get under your feet or crawl around, or if they get scared or something, you know, they're going to make, they're going to get, you know, kind of wigged out. We want them to, we want them to enjoy the trip as much as possible. They are kitties, different than traveling with a dog. Um, I can, you know, share your comments if you want to, but um, Mink and Molly's been with us for a long time, and. Um, Actually, they, they love camping with us, to be truthful with you. But uh, let me show you what we did in the back of the truck. This is, um, this is called a pet tube. I think we ordered this off of Camping World, uh, and it wasn't too pricey. Um, but it has been, I don't know, we've used it for two and a half years now, three years. Um, and it's worked absolutely fantastic. I'll open up the back of the truck here and show you what we use here. So let me show you what we actually use here in the back seat. <clears throat> Again, this is called the pet tube. Um, I think this was, don't hold me to this exactly, we got this from Camping World, I think it was $149. Uh, if I can find it on the site, I'll put a link um, in the video below. But you'll notice you've got these three straps, um, they go right behind your seat, holds it in nice and tight, doesn't go anywhere, doesn't wiggle a whole lot. And then you've got zippers on both sides, uh, so you can service it from either end. Um, that's just a little bed that we put in there. I think we picked that up for a couple bucks at Walmart. I don't remember, but they've got plenty of space. Sometimes they want to be in it. Sometimes they don't. Uh, they've got plenty of room. It takes seconds to pop this out. If you'll notice, it's perforated. You know, so they get plenty of air back here in the summer when it's hot. Um, or, you know, in the winter when it's cool and uh, we've got to run the heater. Um, they, they stay plenty warm. No problem with that. And the really nice thing too is this thing is like a giant spring. I don't know if you can tell this wraps around and it literally collapses into something about that thick, about as wide as my hand and zips up. You know, so if we're gonna be in an area uh, for a period of time, we'll just take it out if we need to get the back seat for groceries and things like that. So it works out really well. So, um, you know, we just toss them in and zip this right back up. It's got great zippers on it. Pet tube. And this just works out. This is a super thing if you're traveling with pets, kitties or puppies. So the nice thing about this is that, you know, after they've been traveling for three or four hours and we're getting a leg stretch, you know, we can just walk right over here, take them out of the back when it's hooked up. And, uh, you know, pull over at the truck stop and just open up our little garage right there, slide open the back door. If they want to use the potty, they can. Um, we'll keep them a little water uh, in the back of the pet carrier as well, the pet tube. I think you might want to check your pricing I think we paid something like 149 for that I think it's what we paid for it used it for three years um, it's probably got 10 15,000 miles on it <laughs> if a pet tube can have miles um, but it has just been absolutely great so I think between moving that cat pan and putting it down up underneath this let me give you an idea how long this project took I probably have maybe light uh, three-quarter inch plywood I used a good grade of plywood so I knew it wouldn't shift around. Um, and um, uh, I did have to move a one little plumbing pipe. That was the, probably the most challenging piece behind the whole item. I probably got maybe a day in the wood construction, you know, gluing it all together, screwing it, and put it together. Measure, 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 because it is a custom fit, fits perfect. Um, I cut that opening and um, put a little piece of trim around it, shot it right into the front of it, made sure it was screwed in really well where it didn't move. We've been on some bumpy roads, it hadn't shifted. Then just cut the hole and put that sliding door back in. And um, it's been great. I mean, we've really liked it. Uh, the kitties haven't complained. We haven't had any accidents, you know, so that's gonna be how they protest. So it's worked really good. So if you're looking for a solution for the kitty pan and you're tired of you know, having it in a closet or sticking it in the bathroom. Some people put it in their shower and you gotta move it back out and just dealing with that cat litter all over the place all the time. This is a wonderful solution. Just uh, make sure you measure, measure, measure and take your time. Um, and uh, I maybe have, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, you know, in screws and plywood. So it's really been a great solution. Oh, the most expensive thing was the flex shot. Bought that at Walmart. It's like I don't know, $9, $10 a can is pretty expensive. 
so you know you'll have to deal with that as well but okay so let's take the price up to maybe 50 or 60 bucks cheap you know it's the best solution for 50 or 60 bucks that we've done so great solution for traveling with rvs and dealing with that dreaded cat pan it's worked out really really great for us so as always this is jerry and when dealing with a cat pan i really like rv life